Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel. Both of us are together again. Hi. In real life. We're here today to do a fun tag that's been going around on booktube a bit. I've been seeing a lot of videos lately of people doing this one, probably because it's kind of short and sweet and <laughs> it's fun because it's called Your Answer Can't Be Books which it's a good way to kind of get to know people a little yeah. bit more. And this was created by Book Buds, who I will link below. We didn't get tagged by anybody. It just seemed like something that would be fun for the two of us to do when we're in the same locale. Yeah. Question one of seven. What is it something that you own way too many of other than books? Coats. Coats. Okay. Yeah. I don't know her answers, so. <laughs> it's coats. How many because do you know? Probably like 13 or 14 coats, which feels excessive even as I'm saying it out loud. Yeah. But I always see them sometimes and when they're on sale or when I'm like, oh, you know what that would be great for? It would be great for this one particular activity. Yeah, this one thing this coat will apply to. And yeah. then that's my like, oh, this is my hiking coat. And like, oh, this is my coat for when it's above freezing. And this is my coat for when it's below freezing. Mm -hmm. And I just wind up collecting them. Mm -hmm. I don't necessarily mean to. It's not something that I actually actively try and buy a lot of, but I do, I have wound up with more coats than I think a person probably really needs. Yeah. Interesting. But I, they, would, I would not have guessed that from you. <laughs> they are practical and yes. useful, so it's not like they're just sitting around waiting for me to mm -hmm. use them. I wear, I wear all of them. Yeah. Uh, my answer for this is eyeshadow palettes, because, okay. I mean, yeah, I wear, I wear eyeshadow mm -hmm. a lot. I enjoy playing around with eyeshadows and seeing all the different looks I can do, and I've been playing like actively really getting into makeup for almost 10 years now so I've accumulated a lot over the years mm -hmm. some of them mm -hmm. I get like second hand from friends or I or always buy them on sale but yeah I did a recent count and I had 70 of them oh <laughs> of various sizes big ones small ones can you imagine if I had said I have 70 <laughs> coats yeah so like all of those eyeshadows have been used mm -hmm. some of them I favor more than others and that is a lot I did like that was at the peak and I kind of I cleaned it out a little bit when yeah. I was doing that but yeah eyeshadow palettes I definitely own way too many of them I own a lot of lipsticks too but those are smaller so they're easier to store mm -hmm. eyeshadow palettes take up way more room I feel <laughs> like you do tend to get rid of some sometimes like you give them to the children in your life that might be like want to play with makeup yeah right. especially the ones that are like cheaper that I'm like okay I have more disposable income now so I'm gonna yeah. get the ones that are a little bit nicer in quality and so I'm not using those cheaper ones anymore and as long as they're not too old right. I will like give them yeah. away to kids to play with no so. one no one ever needs 70 all the time no I don't even do like new I don't even have a makeup channel so <laughs> I just like eyeshadows okay question number two is what is something that you do for fun that's not reading a book I found this difficult to answer but I don't know why because it's obviously baking I watch mm -hmm. a lot of mm -hmm. uh, the Great British Bake Off baking show if you're in North America um and I I have always liked baking I think when we met I have not met, but like when we properly when became we met, friends. When we were eight, we were eight. <laughs> I immediately knew you liked baking. No. <laughs> right, right. But I love my I love my stand mixer, and I'm very good at pie, and I like to bake things. I yeah. bake all the cookies at the holidays, and all the pies at the holidays, and different things all year round. Mm -hmm. And that is something I knew about you. Mm -hmm. That is not surprising. <laughs> For me, it, this won't be surprising to you either. One of my favorite other pastimes is trivia. So I did uh, quiz bowl stuff when I was in high school, and then I also did it in university. That's how I met my boyfriend that I've been with for a very that's long how time. You met your person. We literally <laughs> met at a quiz bowl club thing, and I still now that I've graduated from university, I do Learned League online, and then obviously not as much recently, but going to like bars and doing bar trivia with friends. Like that's just a big thing for the group of people that I hang out with. So that's like a big social thing for me. Mm -hmm. to it is trivia and you're very good at it thank you I enjoy it I like knowing things <laughs> what is something special or important on your nightstand that's not a book I found this difficult too because special and important are different mm -hmm. it does say special or important so I mean you can kind of choose. important things 
my water bottle, lip balm, like those are very important <laughs> to me to, to have always because like if it gets dry, then you need to hydrate. Those mm -hmm. are two very obvious options. But like special things that are right there are my coasters, mm. obviously for my water bottle. Hello. They're all hydration related. Uh, but they're the, they're the ones with the library cards, like the library oh, card print okay, yeah. out of print. They're the, they're the library, um, not library cards. They're card catalog card coasters. And I Stuff love that them. we don't use anymore, really. Exactly. Mm -hmm. I love them so much. Mm -hmm. I am going uh, with special and important, honestly. Mine is, oh. mine is a combo of both. It's it's a water bottle. I don't have it here. It's a Hydro Flask, so I didn't want to bring it with me to my parents' house, you know, just for Christmas. They're so I'll heavy. put it... Yeah, exactly. I'll put a picture of the one that I have up on the screen here so you can see, but it was a gift for my sister, and it's a really nice water bottle, and because it has the special design, it's the special Parks for All series, so it's got Acadia on it, and that's a trip that my sister and I took together a few years ago. We went camping in Acadia, so it... it it brings back good memories and it's just a really nice water bottle and I'm one of those people that I never drank water growing up and then in 2018 I was like you know what I am gonna start trying to drink more water it's and like true. less soda and stuff like that and now I drink water all the time so like that was a huge personality shift thing mm -hmm. for me and the fact that I have a water bottle with me like I have one in the room or it might be downstairs at this point like I have one with me almost all the time You now. did not like water I, for yeah, so I many years. You didn't like water. And I still am one of those people that will have water sometimes and be like, oh, I don't like the taste of that. But yeah, I, it's it's a big change for me. Mm -hmm. So it's special and important because hydration and good memories all associated with that one water bottle. The theme of this question and answer session is hydration. Question four, what's something that you buy at a bookstore other than books? Uh, stationery and cards. Mm, I often mm -hmm. find in like cute little independent bookstores, there's often like bookmarks and stationery and little boxes of cards and I always look at those. Yeah. I often will buy them too. I love to have greeting cards. I love to send people cards. So if there are boxes of like, here's four different designs for four different occasions, I'll be, probably buy those. Mm -hmm. For me, not so much anymore, but when I was growing up, I always kept like a journal or diary. Ah. And so I would often get those at bookstores. So that. yeah, I don't really buy anything else from bookstores other than books these days but back then yeah I have a whole collection of journals that I definitely bought at bookstores in years past. We would go looking for them. Mm-hmm. Because then you could get really nice ones like yeah. Barnes and Noble mm -hmm. or Borders. Oh, R.I.P. <laughs> Question five. What's a fun gift that you've received that wasn't a book or a gift card for books. I mean, based on the answer to the second question, mine is my KitchenAid mixer, mm. my stand mixer. It's bright red, it's like fire engine red, and yeah. it's amazing, and it serves me all the time. I use it every week. Mm -hmm. It's a fitting answer. It aids my baking <laughs> hobby. And it's cute, because it's it colorful. Cute. And it's still, like, the stand mixer just brings back that old, tiny, classic 1950s mm -hmm. kitchen look, and I do have a very antiquated-looking house. <laughs> <laughs> so it really fits in. It's got that whole like housewifey magazine vibe to it. Mm -hmm. Even if that's not, not that like I the general vibe that you get that. off. Yeah. But it, yeah, it's still fun in that yeah. way to like live, relive that and nostalgia that you never actually red. experienced. It's bright red oh, yeah. in my blue and white kitchen. Mm -hmm. uh, for me, I have my example here. It's this very, very bright Kate Spade purse that I mentioned in passing that I liked one time when it showed up online and then my sister just like surprise bought it for me and got it sent to me and I was like what is this package and it was and I pulled it out and I was like oh my god it's the purse that I mentioned one time that I really liked the bright colors of because I'm one of those people that it is enjoys a good rainbow pattern so this is a very fancy purse for me but I love it so had to be had to be mentioned here question six What's a YouTube channel that you watch that's not related to books? I'm so bad at keeping up with YouTube. I used to be on top of it all the time in 2010 and thereafter. Uh, but really the only people outside of this that I keep up with are the Vlogbrothers. Mm -hmm. And the Tiny Chef Show. I don't know what that but is. But I think that's more on Instagram, but they do have some YouTube videos. It's um, a stop motion animation of this tiny little chef man who lives in a tree stump. And he has... If you just have to know. If you know the Tiny Chef Show... You know what I'm talking about. He's best friends with Kristen Bell. Oh, it's really cute. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, I hadn't heard of that one. For me, I'm going to say a channel that I've really been enjoying lately because I do follow a lot of different channels, but Adam Hatton, he's a UK Disney vlogger, and so Ooh. he does 
vlogs trips to Disney, he's gone on cruises, he he makes general videos of just Disney trips, Disneyland Paris, everything. And right now I've really been enjoying his videos. They've been bringing me a lot of joy just because of how shitty everything feels all the time now. Mm -hmm. And he recently was able to go to Disney go back to Walt Disney World for the first time oh. since COVID happened. And so he's been releasing those trip videos every Sunday. And so it's just something really fun to watch and yeah. look forward to because I really love Disney. So I've just been like really living vicariously through his videos lately. So worth checking out if you're somebody that really loves uh, Disney parks and you're kind of looking for somebody new to follow who makes good videos like fun enjoyable mm -hmm. content and very long too so if you're looking for something to like sit down and really watch with like a cup of coffee or something it's episodic yeah yeah it's like a it's new like... episode of a tv show exactly. like a travel tv show mm -hmm. it's yeah. fun the final question is just to tag five booktubers that you want to learn more about so many people have done this tag like I'm definitely not keeping track of who has and has not done this so mm -hmm. I will just do the very typical answer these days of if you haven't done this tag yet and you're looking to do it, we encourage you to do so. Consider yourself tagged at this point. I'm, I'm assuming you didn't have anybody I did, else in I mind. I named some people Ooh. in my notes, but I think we can just potentially tag them later on. Okay, yeah. We can do a little like at symbol. Exactly. Yeah, I just took the easy way out on this one. <laughs> did you actually look up who hadn't done it yet? No, I just <laughs> named some people. I well, was probably good that you it's probably good that we double check that. <laughs> we'll work on it in post. Yes, especially because we don't know exactly when this video is going to go up. Right. So we'll make the call at that time. Hello. Anyway, <laughs> if you have any thoughts, comments on our answers to this, please leave them down below. As always, all of our links are in the down bar. You can go check those out if you feel so inclined. Thank you guys very much for watching. And that brings this video to... A close.